Hey guys, today I will show you how to create RAM disk. So RAM disk is basically a portion of your RAM allocated as a storage drive. Right? So if you go to my computer and here you can see one or more than one drives listed here. So these are basically physical storage drives such as SSD, hard drives, USB drive, etc. But there is a way that you can allocate a portion of your RAM to act as a storage. Now you may ask why would one want to do that? So a reason being that storage drives are very slow. Hard drives can only reach 100 Mbps or SSD can only reach around 1 Gbps and even the best SSDs can reach around 3 to 4 Gbps. But what if I say that you can actually reach 5 to 6 gigabytes per second with read and write. So that can be achieved through RAM disk. So to create a RAM disk, go to your browser and there type in IM disk. Now go to this searchforge.net website. I will provide the links in the description so you can easily download it. Now download this setup. Now here a zip file will be downloaded. Go to your downloads where the zip file is downloaded and extract everything. Now here in this folder an install.bat is there. Now double click on install.bat and this will open the installer. Now just select shortcuts for all user and install. Now that's basically what the setup is. Now to mount the RAM disk, go to RAM disk configuration shortcut. If this does not show up then you can also go to your start menu and here you can see I am disk. So here open the RAM disk configuration. Now here select the size of the RAM disk that you want. Now depending on your storage size of your RAM. It may be 4 GB, it may be 8 GB, 16, 32, even some have 64 GB. So according to that, you can create various RAMs. Now I have currently having 8 GB of RAM. So I will just go with 1 GB of RAM disk. So just click on GB, 1 and click on OK. Now that's basically it. Now there are a lot of options that you can change here. But let's keep it aside and check our RAM disk. So here as you can see a new storage drive is showing up here. So if you double click this, this is basically a portion of your RAM. Now this will act just as any other storage drive. You can create any documents and save it here. There will be no physical or any difference that you will see here. Now one thing that you need to remember is RAM is a volatile storage. So the problem with that is if I restart my computer, all the data I had stored here will be lost forever. Now few parameters that would like to change is use AWA physical memory. So in Windows what happens is when a RAM is filled up to a certain percentage, then the RAM data would be cached onto a physical drive using the page files. Now what happens is. This storage space is actually inside the RAM, but if this storage space is used to cache on a physical drive using page files, then all the data that was stored in the RAM drive would be actually stored on the physical drive only. So this would basically destroy the purpose of RAM drive. So you would want to enable this. Another thing, another thing that you can enable is allocate memory dynamically. So the RAM disk that is currently of 1 GB, a complete GB of memory is allocated inside the RAM. Now if you have less RAM or a lot of programs running while you have enabled this RAM disk then you would like to enable allocate memory dynamically. So what this will do is it will not allocate the GB completely but it will allocate as per the data is required up to a GB. So you, just enabling this would ask you to log out. After starting up, the RAM disk is now dynamically allocated. Okay, so here it again needs to be enabled here. So it's refreshed and as you can see the data is deleted again because it's a RAM drive, a volatile storage. 
Now, if you want to remove this RAM drive, you can simply click on unmount. Now here, during unmount, it also asks like, do you want to save the image file? I would just click on cancel. And the RAM drive is gone. So let's do some benchmarks around this RAM drive. So again, load this RAM drive. It's loaded here. I'm using Crystal Disk Mark 8. So using there, I have selected a file for 512 megabits. I have selected the folder as the RAM disk. And let's run some tests on it. Now you don't actually need to execute this test, but these are just for showing that how fast RAM drive can be. So the tests have run and as you can see here, we are getting immense speed of 2 gigabytes per second. And even random reads and writes are too fast. You can hardly get such kind of speed from a hard drive. Now I am basically using a VM here. So if you are using on your main host, so that would be more faster than this. And if you have higher performance RAM, then just go with it. It's gonna give a blast. So that's basically how to create a RAM drive and I hope you will be able to use it very efficiently. Thank you.